the easiest tax move you can make. <laughs> this is so easy. It doesn't require any kind of thought process in terms of looking at your 1040 or calculating. You know what it is? It's just a move to a tax-free state. All right, so I was talking to this couple yesterday up in Massachusetts, Taxachusetts, and I was talking to a couple today from Michigan. Um, and the people from Michigan are going to move to Florida. They've already moved, actually. They're now domiciled in Michigan, in Florida. And the people from uh, Massachusetts are going to domicile in, uh, in, uh, in Florida as well. And then uh, the people in Michigan are going to start the process of doing massive amounts of Roth conversions. The people in, in Massachusetts won't do that it's simply because they, it's not. It, we have other uh, plans for them, and one of them is going to take massive uh, RMD or not RMDs, but distributions from the retirement accounts. Point being is when the so let's go look at these people from Michigan. They're going to have eighteen thousand a year. They're going to do a Roth conversion this year for two hundred forty thousand bucks. They're going to save eighteen thousand dollars in taxes to the state of Michigan. Eighteen thousand um, bucks, not just for that Roth conversion, but for all their taxes. If that makes sense. Next year they're going to save another twenty thousand, something like that. You see what I'm saying? That's like fifteen hundred bucks a month. Fifteen hundred dollars a month in income tax. You know, my first mortgage in our house in Phoenix was six hundred and like fifty bucks a month, and that's property taxes and escrow as well. There's escrow and mortgage and interest. In a principal and interest. Isn't that crazy? Oh, again, that was 25 years ago, but still, at the end of the day, they're going to save $1,500 a month in taxes. Now, the interesting thing is, they like Michigan. They'll probably move back at some point. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm like, well, just come down to Florida, ramp up your Roth conversions, go to Michigan again. Now, Florida isn't cheap. Just FYI, all these people say Florida is so cheap. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not cheap. But from an income tax perspective, it's incredibly cheap because there isn't any. There isn't any. Now, they're going to pay higher bills and other things, but generally speaking, they're still going to net quite a bit of money from doing their Roth conversions in Florida as opposed to Michigan. Now, the people from Massachusetts, they're not going to do Roth conversions. It's not in the cards, but they still need money. They're going to live off their retirement accounts in which to pay the bills. All right. Well, that's no big deal. They're still going to, as Roth conversions and pulling money from your retirement accounts, the same thing. You still got to pay income tax. I mean, so if you're in Florida, you're not paying income tax. Massachusetts, you are. Michigan, you are. Georgia, you are. Until you're 65 years old, and then you still have $130,000 free tax of tax free between you and your better half. It's crazy. Tennessee, no state income tax. Are these places cheap? Not necessarily. Tennessee is the cheapest, even though their sales tax is quite high. But if you don't consume a lot, then who cares? Anyway, the point being is. One of the best strategies there is isn't even to do Roth conversions. It's just to move to a place and then just live off your IRA. Now, these other people from Michigan, they need to do Roth conversions. They're a little bit older. Um, they're very active in the community. Um, they, 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 have, they have put a lot of money aside, actually. They've done very well for themselves. Very uh, God-oriented, God God-fearful for sure. God, in awe of God. Of that God's creation we're in awe of. Uh, awe of. Someone had made a point. I thought this was great. You know, I, I, uh, I posted my days of praise from the ICR, Institute for Creation Research, days of praise, and uh, talk about being fearful of God is, uh, you know, from, from the scripture. And someone posted that in the old Latin, fearful and, and like awe is, is, a, is, a, is kind of like the way you look at it. I'm not like, God, don't hurt me. It's more like I'm just awe of God's creation. And I, I, and I truly am. Anyway, the point being is these people from Michigan are very awe inspired by God. And they're like, man, we just want to do good with what he's given us. Because it is, we are stewards of God's resources. God doesn't need our money, but he needs to see how we do his money. We use his money in order to say, they're, li you know, they're living the way I want and potentially I can provide them more so they can, you know, basically shine the light of my word in awe to other people. Hiding under a bushel? No, I'm going to let it shine, man. Because we are stewards of God's money. And to whom each as much is given, much is expected. You don't want to be the guy in the parable of the talents just hiding your freaking talent under the uh, rock to give it later to the master. You want to be freaking investing that. Investing that in human beings, man. So that 1500 bucks a month you're saving from taxes in Michigan, man, you start doing that to your local food bank, your local dyslexia place, your local pregnancy center. I mean, that's huge. Yeah, you don't have to. I'm just saying that's something that is an easy tax plan. And then you want to move back? Move back. But in the interim, man, just 
If you can change a location, redomicile in a new place, do four or five years and go back, whoo, no, you're going to save a lot of tax money. All right, love to hear your thoughts. See ya.